Friday. It's a little after 10. We are on our way to my four month explant post-op appointment. Um, it's just a checkup to see how I'm healing and how the um, grafting area is healing or not healing. Um, with the swelling and all that stuff. But anyway, it's a four month appointment that I need, but I'm actually taking advantage of this appointment because um, I have a couple of lipomas um, in my abdomen area that I want to ask the doctor um, if he's able to remove them or what his thoughts are on that. The thing is, when I was talking to my plastic surgeon, um, my explant plastic surgeon, um, I told him, I was like, I have so many lipomas, it's gross, I wanna get rid of them. You can't see them, but you can feel them. I know they're there and it bothers me. Um, and he's like, that is so funny because one of the most common um, issues <clears throat> that my patients present themselves with is after breast augmentation is lipomas. So there's some weird connection, mysterious connection of breast augmentation patients and the influx of lipomas. So this weekend, okay, Sam and I had this conversation this morning. I was like, how do you know you're getting older? Because you get excited about things like tie-dye and uh, a Thrive Market order. So um, I'm gonna do a mini haul within this um, vlog um, and I'm gonna show you guys some things that I'm super stoked about. So here's the thing. Um, I placed an order for Kohl's.com yesterday and it's supposed to arrive today. Like, next day delivery? Who would have thought? They don't do next day delivery. Usually, because they do smart post. I hate smart post. That should be on my list of pet peeves. So, um, I'm getting it today. And so I was telling her, I was like, how do you know you're getting older? Because you get excited about things like tie-dye sweatpants and new underwear. So, I've been deep dive researching on underwear because, you know, the underwear saga, it joins the rest of my discontinued products. So not only is my favorite underwear discontinued now, um, Urban Decay's ex-girlfriend, my favorite lipstick of all time, is also discontinued. Urban Decay's one and done, my favorite foundation type product, is also discontinued. So it's just kind of 2020 is my year where, um, I don't know, I'm gonna realize I'm a superhero or something because this much sorrow is impossible for a regular human heart. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> so you get excited about simple things. So anyway, my Kohl's order, supposed to arrive until next week, is actually arriving today, and I'm trying out these highly reviewed Invisible Line string bikinis, which are supposed to be really good by Jockey. So I'm like, okay, Jockey's a reputable undergarment brand, right? So um, that should be, I'm excited, but I don't want to get too excited because when they arrive and then, you know, they dig into the skin or they're not comfortable or they don't even fit me, then it's the whole process of returning, exchanging, or, you know, who knows? Anyway, so I was telling Sam, I'm like, I'm so excited. Um, my Kohl's order arrives today and I got this like tie-dye sweatshirt and tie-dye sweatpants. I don't know, it just looked really cute and I felt like this strong pull to need it in my life. It's a set, but my intention is to wear it separately because I don't think the world can handle five foot 11 of pastel tie-dye, you know? like it might be vomit inducing. <laughs> so I'm so excited because in this vlog, I get to show you a couple of things. Here's another thing. I placed a Thrive Market order, which by the way, that portion of this vlog is sponsored by Thrive Market. I told you guys in a couple previous vlogs that we're actually working together once a month for the next couple of months, which is exciting because my family is a Thrive Market user. Like we're for, firm believers, our laundry detergent, our dishwasher detergent, our snacks, I mean chomsticks. I pretty much talk about chomsticks and their collagen powder in every vlog, which doesn't happen to be sponsored. So just pretend it's just a regular video. Anyway, so I have to show you guys my Thrive Market order. I'm trying. <laughs> You guys have to validate me in the comments where certain things that normally wouldn't be exciting as you get older and you, you just value, your values change, you know, what's important to you totally changes, then those things become important. So I'm actually excited because I ordered soy sauce, buffalo sauce, 
some salad dressings, amongst other things that I normally replace, like my collagen powder, dishwasher tabs, um, anyway, oh, pasta sauce. I wanna show you guys my Thrive Market haul. I don't know why I'm so excited to try a new salad dressing. I think it's because um, Alex um, from the Defined Dish on Instagram, she's also a New York bestseller now, hi hey girl. Um, she's always talking about Tessame's, this um, uh, seasoning brand, it's like a seasoning sauce brand or whatever. That's amazing. She's always talking about it. She says her kids like it, her husband likes it, so it's a well-loved um, brand, uh, Whole30 compliant, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I decided, since in my household we go through so much ketchup, soy sauce, dipping sauces, things like that, I was like, maybe this could be a new um, opportunity to make better choices, you know? Kind of like switching to silicone straws, things like that. Anyway, so this weekend's super exciting because um, today we're gonna have this doctor's appointment. Uh, Parker's gonna meet me there from work. Um, and then I have to run a couple errands, but I don't know if I just wanna get back home, like rush back home, um, and then do them at some other point. Um, the other part that's super exciting is my new engagement ring setting has arrived and my wedding band and Parker's wedding band. His custom suits have also arrived for fitting, so they're not completely finished. He still has to go in with boots to have them um, hemmed or whatever. I guess it's the first fitting, because if it doesn't fit properly, they have to fix it, right? Anyway, so we have to do that. Um, tomorrow's also date night, and we haven't figured out what we want to do. What I will tell you is this. Tomorrow's date night, and it's also National Margarita Day, which it's also the anniversary of the time I got the most intoxicated I ever have in my adult life, um, and I'm not proud of it. So tomorrow, I know one person in this world that will not for sure be having a margarita. <laughs> The reason I feel like I need to rush home is because um, in a couple of vlogs ago, I told you uh, we needed to build Wesley a ramp because his vision was um, getting really bad um, thanks to years of um, steroid use and um, being a diabetic. So those are two side effects, or those are two illnesses where the side effect or the most common side effect is uh, cataracts or vision loss. Well, without getting too deep into it, because I'm wearing a full face of makeup and I don't want to cry, in the last three weeks, he's gone completely blind. He has no recept, he's not receptive to light. He, he sees nothing. His vision has gone to zero. Um, so it's been a very big adjustment for him, but also for me because I'm his primary caregiver. So things that would normally take me a couple of minutes now take me twice as long. I have to carry him up and down stairs. I have to carry him out to go potty. I have to carry him and place him wherever I need him to be. He gets lost very easily. Um, and usually with a blind dog, it's not too, too bad because you know their other senses become stronger. But he's so old now that it's, I don't know if he really has the bravado to want to learn this new way of life, you know? And so um, it's just, it's been worrying me a ton, like yesterday, for example. I don't know in what 30 seconds he got out of my sight, but he busted his lip open. So his lip was like a flap, and he was just bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. And so for me, obviously, I feel so guilty because I left him out of my sight, and that was my fault, and I should have been taking care of him. I know it's not my fault, but it is my fault, you know? So it's just been, it's just, I think it's the theme of 2020 for me is that adaptability. Do I have it? Do I have that adaptability to everything that's being put on my plate? And I think I can. And I think I can because the adaptability is around my loved ones. So I want to do well. I want to do a good job, you know? I want to help my son. I want to, um, you know, do a good job with our wedding. And I want to give Wesley the best quality of life. And so as exhausting as it is and as sad as, and, and sad and stressful that, is, that it is, it's also a really great opportunity 
for me to show my loved ones, hey, I'm here, regardless of what happens, regardless of what's going on, I got your back. So I, I kind of want to rush home and just be with Wesley. And you know, I've been doing so much reading. I'm, a, I'm the biggest nerd. When something new comes my way, I am the biggest nerd and I want to be prepared. So, you know, I'm learning new tricks on, um, <laughs> did you guys hear that? I'm learning new tricks on how to communicate with him, how to get him to follow me. Uh, there's a lot of weird things like a halo harness. I just don't want to make him uncomfortable. The good thing though is we have an appointment next week to check his Cushing's and his glucose. And I'm going to ask the doctor, hey, is he healthy enough to undergo cataract surgery? Because the results, I mean, you get 90% vision back. You don't have to do both eyes, you can just do one. Um, and I think it would be worth it. Because could you imagine, suddenly you go blind and you're sick and don't feel well, his emotional health is gonna decline really rapidly if his quality of life becomes that of a blind dog that's not used to being blind, you know? So um, that has taken, you know, front and center for me is adjusting, having him adjust to his, his current disability um, while we get some answers on whether or not he can have the surgery. And, um, oh my gosh, truck had like manure on it and it just started to fly off of it. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign I need to really pay attention. Um, and then Monday, um, we have a doctor's appointment um, with my son's pediatrician, and maybe we can have some questions answered, you know? So anyway, I don't know. My, my hope tank is full this Friday. I'm looking forward to date night, not looking forward to getting naked in front of my doctor. Um, but you know what? Maybe I can knock out a qu couple questions about my life homeless. And then when I get back on here and vlog for you guys, I can talk to you more about the masses that are on my abdomen. <laughs> Y'all, you know the name of the game. If it's a Danny vlog, we're gonna talk about panties. We're gonna talk about our disdain for discontinued products. We're gonna talk about my taco, probably. We're gonna talk about my medical conditions. We're gonna talk about my disabled dogs. Uh, and Parker, usually Parker, because Parker has become a really popular topic around here, cochinas, especially when you guys are like, Danny, no disrespect, but he's so hot. I'm like, hmm, do I want to keep showing him in my vlogs? Heck yeah, clickbait, no. <laughs> I was like, Parker, you gotta contribute to this family, okay? And if that means I have to exploit you, you better pop that booty, okay? <laughs> hey, you guys, it's 11.30. I may or may not be sitting at Norma's Cafe with this handsome man. He was, you know, he was in the lobby. He started following me around. Can't see my consult. <laughs> chicks? Really? Plural? All the chicks? No, you're gonna show them eventually. He right. gonna die. <laughs> so, he's like, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I'm like, do you even know me? I'm sorry. Do you love me? Um, the appointment was great. Um, he seemed to be like proud of his work, right? Mm -hmm. It was weird because it's like my body, but it felt like his creation. <laughs> he had that internal smile. Yeah. Like, hey, this worked out great. He doesn't outwardly do emotions. He's very dry humor, and so he'll say things um, like when he teases me about being skinny. He teases me about being skinny all the time, but it's like tasteful, like it's not rude, and it's really funny. But he doesn't, he doesn't crack a smile ever. So we're saying he has very little to work with. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I really don't have much to work with. What did he say? I tra I, I caused you trauma. Like a trauma. Do more damage. Yeah, do more damage because you're skinny. Anyway, um, so the appointment was great. Um, I have a follow up for seven months, random, right? Um, and then um, we came to lunch because he asked me if I was hungry, and uh, that's why we're here now. I don't know why I'm short of words right now. You're distracting so me. Happy. You distract me with your good looks. Um, I'm happy I'm getting pancakes. Yeah, pancakes are exciting. At 12 o'clock. Breakfast, breakfast for lunch is always fun. Yeah, that's true. Well, breakfast at any time. So, um, we may or may not be doing some wedding related stuff later today instead of tomorrow, which is kind of exciting. Like, I'm really eager to see my new yes. setting. 
It's very exciting. I'm nervous though. Custom. Yeah, I'm nervous. I feel like I'm delivering a baby, you know? <laughs> Like, do we explain exactly how we wanted it? I'm nervous that I'll look at it and it won't be what I thought. But I mean, she took out a sample and was like, is this what you want? And I was like, that's exactly what I want, but in my size. Because my fingers, I have long fingers, big hands, but really small ring size, right? Big hands, little ring size. So she said it was going to be easier to just make it from scratch. And she knows what she's doing. She's really good, you guys. Very good. But do you know if your guy's working today? Uh, yeah. Probably. David, right? I know he's working tomorrow. We're supposed to be going back now. Yeah, let's double check because he's fun. He's going to be there. Anyway, so I just totally um, hijacked Parker's day. I'm good at that. Very convincing. Yeah, you should come out of nowhere and just take your time. It's awesome. They just brought this. What is it, cornbread? Cornbread and Sweet biscuits. rolls? <laughs> it smells really good. Yeah, it, it smells good. like pan dulce. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat. I'll show you my food, but I gotta eat. And it's not gonna be graceful, it's not gonna be pretty. I should probably take off my turtleneck. It's <laughs> gonna get messy. though I should have gotten home a long time ago. So here's a scoop. I know you guys are dying to see an outfit of the day of all my old pieces that you can't no longer, can't no longer, can no longer find. Um, but I know I'm gonna get questions. So I'm gonna show you guys an outfit of the day. Uh, but before I do that, I need to tell you something. So here's the thing. After I found out that Urban Decay was discovering, discontinuing, discovering, discontinuing one and done, I was severely devastated, but I figured, hey, maybe that's a perfect opportunity for me to try new products. Because what I do is I find my kit. After doing YouTube for so long and continuously trying new products, it was very important for me to find a kit, to find my go-to products, my everyday products, the products that when I don't want to think about and I have like my favorite face, which are my products. So it was one and done. One and done was my base product. So after I found out that got discontinued, I got really sad. And I had been meaning to try a foundation product from Kosas. Um, it's like an oil-based tint, um, which you guys know. For me, when it comes to like skin, I want very light coverage because I just wanna go in with a full coverage concealer and spot concealer, but in my, like face-wise, I don't like full coverage. 
So I was like, all right, um, I'm gonna meet Parker later. He's just wrapping things up at work, so let me get a couple errands out of the way. I'm just gonna go to Nordstrom and return a bra that only fit me in my dreams. <laughs> um, and then um, I will go to uh, do an Amazon return and then uh, my Ulta return, remember the hairbrush? So that was the plan. Well, I made the mistake of tracking the Kosas uh, oil skin tint product and it just happened to be at that mall where the Nordstrom was. So I may or may not have walked out spending some money at my local Sephora store. So I went to Sephora, I went to Nordstrom, I went to Ulta to return the hairbrush. She told me I was gonna get my reward points back. Woo, thank goodness. Um, and now I'm home. And I think Parker's home too. Anyway, so I just got home. Um, and there was a whole point to the story. What was I telling you? Oh, my outfit of the day. All right, you guys, so this sweater is actually really old. It's from Express. It's probably four or five years old. It has one of those removable, see how it's like fake? It's like a fake collar, cowl neck, whatever sweater. So you can wear it like this, like off the shoulder. That's the way the other option of how you can wear it. I might wear that like that now because it's kind of not as cold. And then just black jeans. I may or may not have evidence of a crime committed in my pocket. Um, we don't we don't need to talk about those candy wrappers. Um, and then these booties. These I don't think are actually that old. I think you can still find these. Steve Madden carries his shoes for a pretty long time. These are some black boots, but I don't wear them at all that often because the hardware is silver. And you guys know gold is like my go-to color. So um, I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do right now. Parker just got home. Um, we're probably gonna hang out with the dogs just for a little while. Um, Parker works tonight, so um, he'll probably be gone for a little bit. Um, but at some point in this video, I'm gonna show you guys sort of like a collaborative haul because I wanna show you my Kohl's haul. Um, my Sephora haul, that wasn't originally part of this plan, and my Thrive Market haul. I don't know why I'm so excited, you guys, but I really want to taste, like, the buffalo sauce and the dressings. It's just, it's exciting, okay? <laughs> Listen, if I can find better choice products for stuff that we go through a lot, like soy sauce, why not? Right, Parker? That's right. <laughs> hey, you guys, 2.30. We are on our way say goodbye to the OG engagement ring. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh my god, daddy, you're so ungrateful. <laughs> and here's the thing, I think ultimately, as long as he's okay with it, as long as he's okay with it, I'm okay with it, you know? <laughs> but I hope that I'll be able to show you guys the, um, the ring, the new ring. Maybe I'll be able to get a little bit of footage when she shows it to us. I just hate to record this like a jewelry store, you know? It's like I'm trying to like do a heist. Then this one, we're going to maybe exploit his physical fabulosity for a second because we're going to cross over to Men's Warehouse and he's going to model his custom suits for you guys. Got to fit. <laughs> Are we going to get your wedding band? Uh, yeah, I thought that was the plan. Okay. He keeps like weaseling out of it. <laughs> I have not. Mm -hmm. Weaseling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll let you get. I'm gonna get him one of those like silicone bands off Amazon. Make him wear it. I bet all your friends at work wear those silicone bands, huh? They're very popular. They are, right? <laughs> They're everywhere. For like those tough, tough, manly man, alpha job, yeah, guns, ugh. They wear those silicone wedding rings. I mean, I think they look hot. You don't want to wear the gold, that's totally fine, but you're wearing something. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if it's a low jack. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I love you. twirl. <laughs> yes, that blue. Can we just get married right now? <laughs> we do. Yeah, oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> 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 
Look at you! That's like the perfect blue. So nice. This is okay, right? So good. Yeah, look at that. See the back? Oh, look at that face. <laughs> you got the marks on your butt. <laughs> hey, you guys. A little bit after four. So, I just wanted to pop on here to say you're welcome on me sharing Parker's delicious decadent booty shaker in a suit in this vlog. You're welcome. That's all I got. That and I did the whole build up on my ring and there was a problem with it. <laughs> I guess there's like good news and bad news. More good news than bad news. The good news is Parker in the blue suit makes me want to have a baby. <laughs> it won't happen. The other thing that was good is the new setting of the engagement ring was absolutely 100% precious. It was it was perfection. The other good news is I didn't have to surrender mine because there was a problem with my wedding band. <laughs> and the other good news is Parker has his wedding band. You guys, when he puts it on his hairy, delicious hands, I want to lick him. It's awful. That's so gross. I know. <laughs> He said it's gross, but he's just trying to, he's trying to front. I'm all embarrassed because my, everybody's looking at my finger and it's hairy and I'm like, oh, it's <laughs> He's gross. like, he's like, oh, my knuckles are hairy. And I was like, oh, right, no. Sort of manscaped. I swear, I'm like a feral vampire when it comes to like this man's hair. Anywhere. Anywhere. I was like, Parker, did you trim your armpits? And he's like, yes. Can I? Fine. I don't know what it is, but Harry Parker is my favorite Parker. So, um, when he put on his wedding band, I was like, you know when you see your life flash before your eyes, but in like a like a really sweet romantic comedy kind of way? Like when they see like, oh, buying our first house together and like growing old together and you like put on the wedding band and I was like, yeah. I told you, feral vampire. Okay, so those were all the pieces of good news. The bad news was we were very explicit. Um, we, because like we do it as a couple, we did the whole custom ring thing as a couple. Like we were together, the whole text exchange and everything was, we were both always doing it together. So there was no room for error, right? In the loop together. Yeah. And so I was very explicit. I want to make sure that they can be worn separately. I don't want there to be any evidence that it belongs to something else. Meaning, no notch, no groove, no locking mechanism, no dip, no dent, no crease, nothing. I need a smooth band and a smooth band. You know what I mean? So, uh, Parker was really sweet. He checked in the entire process of like the custom ring you know, happening or whatever. And he even said, we just really want to make sure they can be worn separately and it's smooth. Two smooth bands. No notches. No notches. Like, <laughs> we was there. No, no notch. <laughs> Documented. Yeah. And this guy pulling out his work, his work skills. He pulls out his evidence. See? Right here. Um, so, the wedding band had a... Um, I guess like a divot in it. It almost looked like it was folded, like the ring had a little fold in it. And so, that's not what I wanted. And this one, he knows all my expressions, including the ones I don't think I make. <laughs> so when the associate it's walked away, to know that. <laughs> yeah, to be a the partner ones... with you, you gotta read between. You gotta, you gotta know the tales, or you're gonna, you're gonna be killed. <laughs> You're not, not going to survive in Danny's Wild Kingdom. You are going to be just torn apart as prey first night. You're not going to live through it. He's the only survivor. you got to have instincts. you got to have instincts. <laughs> He's the only survivor. You're the worst. You know what? You're actually going down the highway. Is this the one that takes us to the other super target? Um, I don't know. 
Do we need to go to a Target? Mm. Which Target do you want to go to? We don't to to? need to go to a Target, but there's this blogger that I really like, and every time she says some, there's a good product, I try it, and it's a really good product. So I thought, since I'm a vlogger, it's only in my best interest of my career that I test the product as well. Well, we gotta have it. Where's it? <laughs> Where's the product? It's at the Target, kind of like where Nusha lives. But this isn't that highway, right? Yes, it is. It is? Yes. Okay, then just stay on it until you see the target. I think it's... Okay. Pull out the magic phone. I'm, I've, I've only been close. living in Dallas and I still need waves for everything. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it had a little... just To me, it was wild, wildly apparent. To Parker and to Wendy, it wasn't. But Parker's point was... I don't care who it's apparent to or who it isn't apparent to. If it's apparent to you, that's enough to not accept it. Because we had said no not. And so I tried it on and she was like, okay, now flip it a different direction. Maybe it's more invisible. And I was like, it's shiny right now. It's brand new. The stones have never been touched. So it's gonna be reflective. The minute that goes on my beast hands and gets lotion and boom boom cream and all my powder for my face and you know dog drool and just the day to day activities and it loses its sparkle because it gets dirty is going to be even more obvious. And she goes, is it though? <laughs> Don't you? I felt like I was getting pushed into making a decision I didn't want to make and luckily this one was there and he was like, babe, just send it back. That's not what you wanted. That's not what we asked for. And I'm like the person that's too embarrassed to ask for a manager. I'm too embarrassed to send back a meal, you know, stuff like that. I've, I've eaten a full meal that I didn't order. <laughs> <laughs> Only when it's like minor inconvenience will I say something. Anyway, it went from like a really exciting time at the jewelry store to kind of like a really low, but then it kind of got high again because when I saw the engagement ring, it was it was beautiful. And she was like, oh, we can get it done today by five o'clock. Like just hang out, linger, and it'll be done by five. So I was like, okay, bye. I love you, buddy, kind of thing. And then when she showed me the band, I was like, Mer. and she said, well, I'm not gonna give you this today then so that when I send it back to get the band made, they make them identical. Like they basically use it as inspiration. So I was like, okay. But then Parker puts on his wedding band and I was like, yeah. You know, I'm the worst, you guys. Literally the worst. This guy, I'm pretty sure he has Stockholm Syndrome. You know, in the amount of ways that he gets sexually harassed. When, when the harassment stops, then I'll worry. <laughs> That's what he always says. I'm like, babe, promise me you'll tell me that when I'm annoying you, you know? And he's like, when you stop doing it, then I'm gonna get worried. Yeah, you've, you've already established the norm. <laughs> it's true. So, we can't change right now. There's now no tickies backies. Up, you know how no insecure I am. I'll get all... <laughs> Is she cheating on me? You don't like Is she Oh, you guys, speaking of cheating and having affairs, let's have a conversation. So last night we were trying I didn't to watch. Cheat or have an affair. <laughs> I wouldn't be like this and you wouldn't be alive, so. Jeez. <laughs> Facts. Just gonna watch it. Gotta... Well, no, no, no. No, okay, we were watching a TV show and How that's what happened. How did you segue into that? <laughs> of course, we're talking Parker. about a case right into. Stop. Sorry, sorry. We wouldn't cheat because if we did, then there'd be a homicide. Yes, dear. And that would be a lifetime without Mern and I can't handle that. <laughs> Mern's my dog. <laughs> Mern is my dog. No, Mern and Tatapa are, <laughs> are totally his dogs. We'll let you think that. So you're watching The Walking Dead. Parker thought it would be a good idea to start this show together because A, we were looking for a show to watch together and B, um, uh, Van, Hel Hel Helsing? Van Helsing ran out or stopped or I watched the whole thing despite the gore that I complained about in the previous vlog. I, I finished it. He's like, if you really like this whole zombie, vampire, the rising apocalypse situation, let's watch The Walking Dead. Okay, cool. So one of the main characters, at the beginning of the show, this is um, this is not a spoiler alert because it's literally like the first episode where they're talking about this. Yeah. So the first and like the third episode where we're going to talk about right now. So you don't need a spoiler alert, Susan. Um, the sheriff is on the fritz with his wife. They're basically having marital issues so much so that his partner knows about it and they're openly discussing it. So 
the apocalypse happens where the zombies or the virus or whatever happens and the walkers are born and he's in the hospital and he wakes up and he thinks his family's missing. They're alive, but they're missing somewhere. Well, it turns out that the wife and the son are, you know, survivors, but she is having an affair with his partner from work, his sheriff partner. And they don't ever stipulate how much time has occurred between the time he got to the hospital because he was shot and the time that the virus hits and the apocalypse happens. They never specify. So Parker and I had this disagreement, it wasn't even a fight or anything, of is it justifiable that she's having an affair with the partner because she thought her husband was dead? Because that's what the partner said. They basically left him to die at the hospital because the zombies attacked and they couldn't get him out of the hospital, right? So my thing is, it was 100% justified. Would I do it? No, like that's not my flavor. That's not the kind of person I am. I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't feel gross, but I could see why she did it, you this know? This sends up so many red flags. <laughs> they were on the fritz, she thought he died, he's protecting her and her son, so there's that weird carnal attachment to that, you know, bravado and safety and rescuingness, right? I wouldn't do it because I'm like a rule follower and that just feels yucky, but I could see why she did it. And Parker's like, whoa, so if I get shot and I'm in a coma, you're gonna screw my partner? And I was like, mm, maybe if there was an apocalypse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you <was> so mad. <laughs> okay, so someone, you know, it's, everything goes, goes bad. Someone tells you I might be dead. Within two weeks, you're shacking up with another. You don't know the, the time frame. One one chubby, hairy guy tells you I'm dead, <laughs> and you're gone. That's it. Okay. Well, he never existed. First We're, of all. There is no mourning period. Nothing. Just full on with another guy. He thinks it's me. Like, he's saying that I would do it. I'm like, no, I could just see, I could understand why she did it. I can't understand why you would understand that. <laughs> because it makes no sense to me. He even did the whole, in bed, like... Turns over. <laughs> it was justified. They were on a they, they weren't on a break, but they were heading to the dark tunnel of no return in a marriage, you know? Yeah, no matter how much you try to explain it, <laughs> how much details you add to it, you were still wrong. <laughs> I'm right, you were wrong, Danny. Okay. One take. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section. You know what? You oh, don't I'm even sure need to explain. Be lots of comments. You don't need to explain. Just do hashtag Team Danny or hashtag oh, see, now Team you're Parker. To minimize. Like, just, don't, yeah. just keep it simple. Let's uh -huh. just do a voting uh -huh. system. You know you're wrong. Like now. do a voting system. Like put an eggplant emoji or put like a wedding ring emoji. No, full your on vote. there it is, please. Explain <laughs> fully why she's wrong. For me, <laughs> hashtag Team Parker. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> I had nothing. I literally have nothing. What I do have to share with you is hashtag Team Danny. Subliminal messaging. Hashtag Team Danny. Apocalypse, you guys. Zombie apocalypse. Survival is key. And you gotta go with a man with the guns, okay? It's a bad road you're going down. You gotta go with a man with the guns. I mean, she did it for her son, if anything. Okay. <laughs> He's getting mad, you guys. I gotta go. of yesterday. Is entirety a word? Because I use it entirety way too much. <laughs> so yesterday I kept teasing you guys about a haul I wanted to show you and how excited I was about tie-dye and panties and then the day got away from me. I don't think I have been wearing a full face of makeup, a full outfit and shoes for that long in years. <laughs> You guys, I feel so blessed to have the job I do. And I sometimes I think back, I'm like, man, when I used to teach, I was out of the house 
from 5 in the morning sometimes until 11 p.m. Fully dressed, makeup, shoes, and everything, and I was fine. And now I can't hang. <laughs> so yesterday was total fun. Um, we got a bunch of stuff done. Parker had his wedding ring. He was so sweet, you guys. He wore it all evening. He was like, I just want to make sure it fits and it's comfortable. And I was like, does it burn? Is it burning your finger? <laughs> um, okay. Then we came home and I was like, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so we um, called in um, sushi. We picked it up. We ate sushi in front of the TV and saw, oh, do you want to say hello? Say hi. You want to say hello to Karen? Say hi, Karen. Say hi, Karen. Hi, Susan. Hi, um, Janet. What's the other name? <laughs> oh, you want to say hello too? Um, I don't, yeah, it was just, it was, it was, it was one of those satisfyingly full days where you're like, wow, I accomplished a lot. But then I never got to show you my haul. So here's the thing. I may or may not have been on a hunt for a cleansing oil. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want, old mister? What do you want, my old mister? Mommy has to work. We have time to do cuteness later. We did cuteness all morning. We did cuteness all late morning. You woke me up at six. That's all I got for you. Now is mommy's time. Siéntate, por favor. Good boy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a whole thing. And I was like, okay, well I got the cleansing oil. I went to Sephora. There's like a whole other two new things I need to share with them on this haul. So I just, I'll wait for Saturday when I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed. Okay. Maybe I haven't showered yet, but that's okay. Cause that's how we roll. I took Wesley to the groomers. He's currently there right now. And I am a ball of nerves because since his last grooming appointment, he's gone completely blind. And so I was there and I was being that mom at the groomers. I was like, He's totally blind. This is a special shampoo. He has some blisters on his belly that haven't healed, but they're not painful. And he has a cut on his lip. Just please be careful. If you can, just carry him everywhere you go. <laughs> Don't leash walk him. Just carry him around, please. <laughs> Cause he's blind. Cause you, I mean, if you've gone from being able to see to being completely blind everywhere you go now, even though you've been there a million times, is a brand new place, right? So anyway, I was being a total worry wart and now I'm currently a ball of nerves because I'm waiting for the phone call to be like, he's fine, he's done, or hey, can you pick him up because he's not having it kind of thing. So I've been doing a ton of stuff here around the house and I was like, you know what? It's time for me to check in with the pandas. I'm gonna finish my coffee with them and show you guys um, a couple of hauls. The first one, obviously, that I wanna share with you guys is Thrive Market. I told you guys at the beginning of this vlog that this vlog in particular is sponsored by Thrive. Thrive Market is a subscription service that I have been subscribed to for, I would say maybe four or five years now. And throughout the time that I've been subscribed, their membership has changed a little bit and it's changed in a really awesome way. And this is how. So for me, Thrive Market is useful for my family because there are a couple of changes that I've done in my household just to make my household a little more sustainable, a little more green, a little healthier. Um, and Thrive Market just makes it easy for me to have things delivered to my home at a more affordable price. So if you guys are unfamiliar, Thrive Market is an amazing online marketplace that allows you to make your home a little more green, a little more eco, a little more sustainable. Um, it's, it's a site that you can get things from your pets to your pantry to um, supplements. I mean, you could even get wine and fresh seafood delivered to your door using Thrive Market. My favorite thing about it is that it does like a membership for membership type thing. So if I get the annual membership, they gift an annual membership to a family in need, to a teacher, to a veteran. Um, if you subscribe to the uh, three month membership, they'll give a three month membership to someone. So they do membership per membership, which is kind of nice. Now, if you guys are still not sold, Thrive Market is a site that allows you to buy products, um, greener products, healthier products, sustainable products, um, special diet products, 25 to 50 percent cheaper than anywhere else and when i was pulling up price comparisons i was like oh it is true now for me thrive market has become the place where i get my brightening powder for laundry my dishwasher tablets my rinsing agent um our healthier snacks for like parker and i um some lunchbox snacks for the kids um and just most recently i started to venture out with substituting products like ranch, 
salad dressings, ketchup, things like that. That's why this particular haul is kind of exciting for me. Um, so if you guys wanted to check out Thrive Market, there is a promo in the description box below. It is not affiliate, so I'm not making commission on you using this link. It just helps Thrive see that Danny did influence you to check out our membership, and now we're membership twins. So if you guys wanted to check out Thrive Market, I subscribe to the 12 month membership. For me, it's easier because it's a full year. It's about $60. I think it's $59.95. So $5 a month. Um, you can do one month at a time, which is $9.95 a month, or you could do three months at a time for $6.65 a month. So you could kind of gauge your needs. So if you're like, oh, I'm not really committed to this paleo diet, so I'm just going to do one month. It's going to be about $10. Um, they also have the money back guarantee. So if you try it for 30 days and you're like, you know what? I don't really have a use for this. Sorry, Danny. It's not really working out for me. They do refund you your money as long as you, you know, check in with customer service before your 30 days are up. So I think that's kind of awesome. All right, you guys. So I'm going to show you guys my haul. But if you guys are Thrive Market users, let us know what your favorite products to buy are. I know uh, Sam, my best friend, tried it when she was doing um, keto. So you could basically go on the top of the website and filter your search results to like keto diet or paleo diet. And it will only show you products that fit within your dietary restrictions. So that's kind of cool. Let me put my coffee down in like a safe place because I don't want to have any coffee spills over here. But I was like mildly embarrassed when the FedEx guy came to drop off my box because you could tell he was like on the struggle bus. He was like, oh God, it's pretty heavy. Anyway, so the box is 100% recyclable, you guys. Everything that's in it, you can put in your recycle bin. But look at how cool it is uh, packaged. Everything that's in here is really awesomely packaged to make sure that none of your stuff breaks or uh, spills or anything along the way. These actually were inspired by um, Alex from The Defined Dish. I always see her family, and she has little kids like I do, around the same ages. Um, two little girls, they're adorable. Um, and she uses these condiments for her family and they really enjoy it so I was like um I'm sorry I'm definitely gonna try Primal Foods I think is the brand yeah Primal Kitchen and um Tessame's are her two favorite brands for condiments so I got a couple of um items that I could substitute these are all plastic bottles so they didn't have to put the paper around it I wonder if the kids are gonna notice like when um, they I put this in the refrigerator instead of the stuff they're used to seeing. Cause they're used to seeing like Kraft, you know, those typical brands, um, Heinz for ketchup. So the first thing that I have, and I got a couple from this brand, I believe. Yeah. So I got two Primal Kitchen uh, products. I got a no soy teriyaki organic sauce and marinade. Um, from Primal Kitchen. And then I also got the classic barbecue sauce that is unsweetened, which I really like. I don't like when barbecue sauces are too sweet. I like them to be a little more smoky and peppery than sweet. Then I got two sauces from Tessame's. One is new, so that was super exciting. A barbecue sauce and a mild buffalo sauce. So um, this is really exciting because Parker loves to grill. So I'm just gonna like low key slide it into the fridge and he's like, hey, can I have the buffalo sauce or the barbecue sauce? I'm gonna be like, uh-huh, here you go. Here's Tessa Mace. Better hurry you. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> it's because I love you. <laughs> um, and then the other two dressings, these are for salads. We've really been into salads lately and when I saw how receptive Bonus Baby Junior and Senior were, I was like, yes, salads on the menu, salads on the menu. So I got the classic balsamic and the classic ranch dairy-free and sugar-free. A lot of dressings tend to be really high in sugar, sodium, or dairy products, and some people just can't have those. For us, it's no big deal. Like, we don't have any food sensitivities. We do have picky eaters, but we don't have food sensitivities. So this is kind of something I'm really excited about. Again, how do you know you're getting older? Because you're excited about soy sauce. Could it get any better than low sodium? Thrive Market had my back. I don't know why I didn't think about looking there first. So this is the Sanjay Organic Tamari Gluten-Free Soy Sauce. It's also reduced sodium. So if you don't like reduced soy sauce, they have this brand in um, reduced sodium soy sauce. They have this brand in organic 
regular soy and then they have organic reduced sodium and then they also have just the soy sauce so there's a couple of options on how you can buy it the price difference is actually not that astounding so you know when you go to the store and you want to go organic it's a dollar or two more expensive it's not on the thrive site finding a peanut butter that is just peanuts has been really challenging and it's weird because we have a local sprouts nearby where everything is like insanely overpriced and we can't find one there so i found this one from santa cruz organic it is a creamy dark roasted peanut butter and on the back all it has is organic roasted peanuts that's the only ingredient so this is what it looks like I think in here we have some pasta sauces. Um, our kids love pasta. I think any child really likes pasta. So we go through tomato sauces. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thought I would try two. One of them is the organic. Actually, I didn't buy this one. This was a free gift. So every time I place a Thrive Market order, they give me a free sample. And if you spend more money than you're supposed to, they give you a really big free sample. Usually it's like a little meal prep kit or a supplement. Oh, I got this and this, I believe, as my free uh, sample. So this is the one that I bought or I paid for, the Thrive Market Vodka Tomato Sauce. Look how good that is. And then you can see um, on the back, it has like a recipe. The list of ingredients are on there, which is all really... Um, Makes you feel good about shopping for your family. So I got the organic marinara. It's low sodium as the gift. And this came with um, these like special noodles. They're called wonder noodles. So they're mushroom noodles that are gluten free and people actually really like them, but they're in a water solution. I've never seen food packaged like this. It's really exciting. So after opening, cover unused portion with water, refrigerate and consume within two days store unopened in a cool dry place how do you cook it though do you just boil it no cooking required just drain rinse and eat like them hot microwave for a minute oh my gosh this is so funny look at what they look like you guys i guess i should show you huh i'm like hogging it up to myself so you don't have to cook them <laughs> I feel like I need to do a special bit just on these noodles. We have more coffee creamer for Parker. I can't believe he's liked the majority of my suggestions. So I tend to eat healthier. I love junk food, love preservative loaded food. I love Cheetos, like I'm that girl. But I really crave healthier foods. So I'm always trying random things like nut pods. I tried nut pods, I loved it. But between the hazelnut, the plain, and the um, vanilla, Vanilla is so good. And Parker actually liked it. He's like, I don't miss my coffee creamer at all. So this is what they look like. They come in a two pack. And when I wanna do a dairy-free um, milk substitute, the plain, the unflavored one is, you would not know it is not dairy. You, it's just, it's totally passable. It's awesome. Then we got, on the worst. Two bags of collagen. You guys know how I feel about this stuff. This is the coffee I put in my, the collagen I put in my coffee. I do one scoop a day, just one scoop. It's sweetened, so if you don't wanna put sugar in your coffee or um, additional creamer, you don't have to. Then I got some boring stuff. I don't know how you guys feel about home stuff. I don't wanna to talk too much about it because I've already talked about it before, but let me get this big box out of the way because I know this one wants to get close to mommy. These um, dishwasher tablets, are awesome. I love these. I've not noticed a difference from using the, um, those blue ones that have the little red dot, the finish ones. The finish has like, oh, they're super duty, max, ultra clean, shiny, sparkle, everything. They're really expensive. This is the whitener that I use instead of like an OxyClean. Um, and it is a baking soda based, I believe, um, uh, brightener. I love it. I mean, I have two boys, four dogs, two of which wear diapers. So it's a big deal around here and it works really well. Um, this is the rinse aid that I use in my dishwasher. Again, the reviews are what got me to buy this one and I really like it. Um, this is from seventh generation. I order this regularly from Thrive as well. And this is a new product, totally new to me. I haven't tried it before and I'm really excited to. I'm trying to switch over uh, detergents, uh, soaps, things like that, that are used very consistently, very regularly. I want to swap those out completely. So I'm trying a new detergent from Molly Suds. 
in the scent Ocean Mist. This is the Super Powder Laundry Detergent and it has 60 loads in this bag. So I thought it would be cool to try. I'm a little hesitant with powder detergents because I feel like with darker clothes, if your washing machine doesn't do a good job at rinsing, it can leave like almost like a shadowing on the clothes. So I don't like that, but let's smell it together, you guys. See what it smells like. Oh, it smells good. Do you want to smell it? <laughs> it smells nice, right? I like it. It smells really strong. All right, you guys. So that is it for my Thrive Market haul. I will list and link all of these products in the description of this vlog. But don't forget that if you've been meaning to try it out, there's three types of memberships, so you don't really have to commit to anything very long. If you wanted to check it out, there'll be a link in the description box below. You just need your name, your email to register, and then decide which membership you want. And remember, it's risk-free. So if you're like, Danny, I didn't like those dishwasher tabs. I don't see myself purchasing these products regularly. I don't think it's a good fit for my family. Don't worry, risk free you guys. You guys know what I forgot to show you? Yesterday we ended the vlog on going to Target. So I have been looking for this facial cleansing oil for about a month and a half now. And every Target seems to sell out of it. It's not a joke, you guys. It is, it got to the point where I was telling Parker, I was like, now it's a matter of, I need this oil. <laughs> I tried it last night so I would actually have something to contribute. Um, it's the Julep um, Love Your Bare Face Hydrating Cleansing Oil. That's what the packaging looks like. That's what the actual bottle looks like. It is definitely a hydrating oil. Anyway, if you see this at your local Target, it's $22 and then I got the 5% off because I'm a re reward or red card member or whatever. If you're a cleansing oil or cleansing balm fan, I think you should try it. I really liked it. Um, let's talk about my Kohl's haul disappointment. The first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is a set. Now, I knew this was going to be a um, wild card. I knew it from the jump because it's Junior's. I fit into Junior's clothing um, if I order a medium or large because I'm really tall. And I don't know what's gotten into Junior's fashion in the last year or two that all the shirts are short and all the pants are oversized. <laughs> so it can be tricky to shop. So I knew it was gonna be a wild card, but it wasn't an outfit that I was planning to wear out to church or to go on a date. It was clothes that I was buying to wear around the house. The outfit is adorable, and I wasn't going to wear the pieces at the same time together. This is the sweatshirt. I mean, the tie-dye print is epic, right? It's so pretty, um, but it does have that tie at the bottom. I ordered both pieces in medium. The shirt fits like a small and it's a tiny bit cropped, but it's that cotton material that is going to shrink about one size. So had I ordered this in a large or extra large, it would have been perfect. I got it in a medium so it fits cropped and when I wash it, it's going to be super cropped. So this is going back. The bottoms I ordered in a medium. You can see how big they are for a medium. I mean, my entire hand fits in here. So these probably fit like a 28 or a 29 in women's um, or like a 6'8". So that's the medium. But look at how big and baggy. I mean, the crotch is very saggy. But then the bottoms are cropped. So these are more for like short shorter people. Um, I think I'm going to keep the bottoms because I know I'm confident they're going to shrink about a size, um, but they're also a medium. So the size is very different from the top to the bottom. Um, had I known that, I would have gotten these in a small and the top in a large or extra large. So kind of a fail, but also kind of not a fail because it has pockets. I'm a fan of pockets. Y'all, dresses and skirts with pockets are like the next sliced bread, okay? <laughs> And then the last things, the last two things that I got were, you guys, I'm such a positive person that sometimes it blows up in my face. I got multiple panties of the same two styles because I was confident they were gonna work. They don't, they're not the type of panty. And this is the problem is, I like my panties to fit seamlessly. I don't want them to dig. So when I put on my panties, I don't want there to be steps from my waist to my hip flesh to my butt. I don't want that cutting in and I don't mean an uncomfortable digging in because that just means they don't fit I just mean any sort of dent I like them to be seamless which is why I wear laser cut panties right so 
I was very confident about these two styles and I'm actually really confident about them still if you have the type of body type I'm gonna share. So this is one style and they're both from the brand Jockey. These are the Seam Free Air Bikinis. I got them in the size five, which is a, me a small bordering on medium. So their sizing is kind of weird. Um, these would be really good if you have a small waist and a big booty and big hips. This style would fit so good on you. The waist tends to be a little bit tighter, the leg holes and then the butt part are a little bit looser. So this would be great for those of you that have a really small waist. Um, I did not like the crotch part. There's no fabric on it. It's just a different type of fabric. So this is the fabric on the panty itself right here but then it morphs into this, and I don't know if you can see how sheer that is. You can, you can see me through it. That's the crotch part. I'm sorry, but if I'm getting extra protection, it's on the crotch part. <laughs> and here we are talking about tacos again. This style, oh, I wish I had a bigger butt because it would be perfect. This is the jockey string bikini. I also got it in a size five. It goes all the way up to size 11. I think what they're trying to do is avoid the whole small, medium, large thing because some people don't really like it. It's, I don't know, it makes them feel uh, categorized almost. Um, so I'm in the size five again, and this is a microfiber stretch material, but look how pretty the style is. Isn't that so cute? You hardly ever see string bikinis anymore. I used to love this style before I found the um, anthropology ones. The problem with these, do you see how that back comes up significantly higher? So that that's how big the back is. These are awesome if you have a big butt. So if you're someone that was blessed with a peach booty, you are gonna love these. For me, they were too small and too big. Too small here and really baggy in the back. So it's weird because I would have to size up so that the waist and the hip area fits, but then the, ba the bottom part, like the butt part, would be so much bigger. It's already big now, but it's too small on the waist. Does that make sense? So it's like big in the butt, small on the waist. So if you guys have a really nice, big, juicy booty, these would be awesome. So that was my Kohl's fail. I mean, what did I get out of it? Maybe some sweatpants. I have to try them on and like, I don't know, really get into them, see if I like them, but I don't know if they're gonna be, I really like the print. <laughs> The tie dye, isn't that awesome? It's like the perfect colors. You can see in like my last three vlogs, these colors have been my love. <sighs> All right, let's end on a high note, you guys. The high note is I walked into Sephora and I walked out a little broke, so. These are all products I had in my Sephora cart and I was like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to pull the trigger. And as I went out yesterday, I kept reapplying my Kosa's lip oil. I think I found my new favorite lip product. Like I love that thing so much in the color Dip. And so I recently found out from a Credo email that I got um, that Kosa's recently launched their newest concealer. And one of my favorite accounts to follow on Instagram, uh, Jennifer Stano, um, always uses their foundation oil. So it was on my wish list. I'm like, I wanna try that. And then after Urban Decay discontinued one and done, it just all really made sense that I needed to walk into a Sephora. So I tracked it to my local store. I was like, wow, it's like the stars are lining up for me. So that's what I did. I went to Sephora. And I got a lot of Kosa's things. So I got four products from Kosa's. The first one has been in my monthly favorites. I got a second one so that I can have it in my purse since the other one hasn't left my purse. So this one I'll go upstairs or in my bathroom. So this is the lip oil in dip. So good. It's not as dark as it looks on there, you guys. If you suffer from chap lips, it will heal your lips. It is a great product. Such a fan. Um, this is the tinted face oil that I got. It's one of those products, I don't know if this sounds familiar to you guys. There's, do you guys remember when all products were like that? When it was like, oh, we're gonna suspend pigment in oil and that's gonna be the new foundation product. Those were my favorites. Do you remember the dream, 
Dream Something from Maybelline. Oh, I love that thing. It's like putting water on your face that has paint in it, and so it evens out your skin tone. It's awesome. I swatched this in store, and I'm an exact shade four. I didn't wear it all day. I don't know if it'll oxidize, but just upon swatching, I was an exact shade four. I got the newest product, their concealer. This is what it looks like, and I'm in the shade three and a half or 3.5. It does have a really cool applicator. So what I'm gonna do is I'll film a get ready with me first impression on these products. And I was like, well, since I like the lip oil so much, I wonder how I feel or I'll feel about the chapstick. This is the Hyaluronic Lip Balm. It comes in one of these little, I don't know, eco-friendly packages, which I kind of like. This is what it looks like. Doesn't it look super sporty? Like you would put it in a gym bag or like, I don't know, something sporty. Um, it's, it is minty, but I tried it on in the store. Well, not on my lips. That'd be gross, but I tried it on. I did this and I was like, oh, this is good. I just don't know how I feel about that kind of applicator. Like, do you do this or do you do this? Cause then if you do it like this and you're going to have a sharp side and a dull side, right? Maybe you're supposed to put both on at the same time. <laughs> this is a tutorial, you guys. It feels so good. It's one of those chapsticks that feels like they're actually doing something, not just putting grease on your lips. Mmm, it feels nice. But it is minty, so if you don't like minty, I think minty's grown on me. It's so common in lip products now that I'm like, just not gonna complain about it, you guys. Then I got the Ulla Henriksen Truth Brightening and Reviving Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. Rewind, that's totally not the name. The, the name of the cleanser is Ulla Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. This is the newest product from this orange line from Ulla Henriksen, which their eye cream, I love. Their serum, I love. Like I've become a total convert. I don't know, it's been a nice switch. So sometimes you just have to switch things up. You can't get too comfortable because what happens? Then they discontinue the product. So right now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try new cleansers. I'm gonna find my new one to replace. I've been using the newest one from Too Faced right now. It's this creamy, moussey white one from their RX line. Um, it's in my shower. I've been using it for over a month now. I'm. You know when you don't when you don't like a product but you don't hate a product it's just a product that's kind of where I'm at with it. So I'm still I'm still trying cleansers. I'm using that one and I'm also using the new one from Milk Makeup that comes in the chartreuse packaging. So anyway, I thought all right, well I'm already a fan of this line of Ulla Henriksen, so I think I'm going to be a fan of this. I don't know. I'll have to update you guys maybe in another vlog or in like a favorites video. Um and then I got a sunscreen <laughs> How do you know you're getting old? Watch one of Danny's vlogs. She's excited about panties and sunscreen. So, uh, Ren Skin Care Clean Screen Mineral SPF that is mattifying. So I have a Josh Rosenbrook, Rosebrook sunscreen that I love. It is a green, non-toxic brand. I love it. It is extremely expensive, but it's really good. However, it leaves my face really shiny on days where I'm not gonna go in with any type of makeup products. So when I saw that this one was the same ingredients, but it was mattifying, I was like, I need to try this. And I've recently discovered several products from this brand and I have yet to try one that I don't like. So this is a really promising skincare brand, at least for me. I know it's not a new brand, but for me it is new and I have been happy with all the products that I've liked. So I think I'm gonna go through like a little Ren phase where I start trying a couple of their masks and things like that. Um, I tried this in store and it is truly mattifying. It does have a white cast, but like when's the last time someone chased you around with flash photography? You know what I mean? Um, and then I got a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Compact, powder compact. Um, I thought I was in the shade medium the other day. I sourly discovered that I am not medium anymore. So I got the fair and I only use this to set my under eyes. That's literally the only purpose of this powder. So I need to find a significantly cheaper powder if it's just gonna be for setting my under eyes. And now that there's that whole dilemma with is Charlotte Tilbury cruelty free or not? I don't know, I'm confused. Like are they or are they not? The Sephora website still says they are but I don't know if they are. 
Now I'm just confused. I live in like a permanent state of confusion now that I'm 35 and on the struggle bus. But that's okay. I really hope you guys like my hauls. This vlog is going to be like three hours long because I decided to incorporate 17 hauls within it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will list and link all these products in the description box of this vlog, including my dirty Sherpa cardigan that you guys see in every weekend vlog. But for now, I have to skedaddle and go shower because it's date night. Parker's actually in the garage working on his Harley because it's leaking and he has to go drive for like a thousand hours next weekend. That's all they do is they ride for three days straight. They just ride, ride, camp, ride, 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 camp. So he's fixing his bike. Um, I'm gonna shower and get ready, hang out with the dogs. I need to go pick up Wesley from getting groomed. Um, and then we're gonna do date night. But here's the, here's the twist. Here's the wrench and the curveball. We don't know what we're gonna do. Two type A personalities that are extremely organized and love to plan, haven't planned date night. What are we gonna do? It's weird, right? Anyway, that's it. Do you guys like my glasses? I don't know what happened, but I feel like Wesley, overnight my prescription changed, and so I could easily get away with not wearing glasses. Now, if I don't, I'm doing this. Everywhere I go, I'm like, hey, Biddy, what does that say? And then like one of my bonus babies, I'll tell me, I call them Biddies. Hey, Biddy, what does that say? And I'm like, and they go, <laughs> they, go they both wear glasses and they go, now all of my glasses, all of my Warby Parkers are like laying around the house. I need to schedule an eye appointment and I probably need to get new glasses. I wonder if Warby Parker changes lenses and that way you don't have to get new frames. I will have to find out about this, but for now, I gotta go. I love you. Show me your haircut, show me your haircut. I miss you so, I miss you so. I'm never ever ever gonna let you go. Look at your haircut, it's so nice. Look at those cinnamon rolls, they're so nice. They're so Oh, they're so nice, they're so nice. They are so nice. You look so good, you look so good. I love your haircut, it's so nice. I love your haircut, it's so nice. Mom is over here. Oh, I love you too, man. I love you too, man. I love you too, man. Oh, come here, oh, come here. I love you, I love you. I miss you, I miss you. Tell me about your walk, tell me about your walk. Was it a good walk? Was it a good, what's he? Come here, mama's over here. Oh, there you are. Oh, look at that haircut. Wow, it is magical. Let me see all the rolls. Oh my goodness, look at your brother's rolls. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, you're so nice. Wow, you did such a good job. Miss Anna did such a good job on you. Where are you, boy? Where are you, boy? Where are you so? I miss you so. I miss you so. I miss you. I miss you so. I did I so. Oh, I miss you so. I miss you so. Where are you going? to finish his bike, um, which he was on the ground, laying on his back, doing all that stuff. So it was laborious. Um, I didn't stop for one second today from running Wesley to the groomer. I did five loads of laundry, folded it, hung it, put it away. Um, I made lunch, which remind me to tell you something about lunch. I made lunch. I cleaned the entire kitchen. I unloaded the dishwasher. It's just been one of those days where I was like, Today's gonna be fun because it's date night and you know, I don't wanna do anything like errandy related and all I ended up doing was house chores. So come like maybe three o'clock, Parker's like, what are you thinking? And I'm like, I'm thinking I'm tired 
and no part of me wants to do date night. I'm, ti I'm tired, I'm tired. And it was funny because I started to get really frustrated um, with dinner because he's like, well then what do you wanna eat? And I'm like, bro, I picked dinner yesterday and I cooked lunch today and I'm just tired, like I'm tired, I can't even make a decision. You know, like that kind of tired where you're like kind of obnoxious. <laughs> so um, he's like, how about free birds? Freebirds is like a cheaper Chipotle. It's always delicious. He's like, okay, but you're gonna have to go pick it up. So he actually headed out right now to go pick it up. But I wanted to talk to you guys about lunch because we tried two of the Tessame's um, sauces. Okay, so you know, um, I made lunch and I just smashed up some potatoes. I sauteed up a zucchini and I put some chicken in the oven. It was super simple and I asked Parker, I'm like, hey, what do you feel about me making this chicken buffalo style? And then we can try this new sauce. Parker's answer is always yes when it's food related. This is freaking delicious. This is like training wheels for buffalo sauce. So I think this would be a buffalo sauce that would be great for the entire family, even kids. I didn't completely douse it in sauce. I told you guys before, I'm not a big sauce person. So I just put a gentle, gentle coating of it and it was bomb, so good. And look at this, Keto Whole30, all of this good stuff here, all whole ingredients. But this is what actually blew me and Parker out of the water. Parker and his family are obsessed with ranch. And so we always have Hidden Valley at the house. So I was nervous about this because ranch, Hidden Valley Ranch has completely changed the way ranch tastes. If you're familiar with homemade ranch dressing, like the original version of ranch, it doesn't taste like Hidden Valley. That's not what ranch is supposed to taste like. This? is exactly what ranch is supposed to taste like. Y'all, this is bomb. This would be good. Like, boil up a couple of potatoes, boil a couple of hard-boiled eggs, cut up a bell pepper or a um, celery, and then put this as your sauce and do the most delicious egg potato salad you've ever had in your life. This is bomb. If you've ever made ranch from scratch, this is exactly what it tastes like, and look. Whole30, keto, it's uh, certified organic. They don't just claim to be organic. And then again, all whole ingredients, like whole ingredients. How awesome is that? The only difference we noticed is this has like 10 more calories than the Hidden Valley one, but the Hidden Valley is just loaded with fake ingredients. So anyway, you guys know I'm ridiculous. And the stuff that excites me is stuff like these tie-dye sweatpants, which by the way, I'm totally in love with. I like them, they're very comfortable, but they are definitely not tall people friendly. You see how short they are? So I'm kind of wearing them kind of just pulled up like joggers, but they are very comfortable. And then they have that like wide elastic waistband so they don't like cinch or anything. I told you guys I got a medium in juniors. Um, super awesome. So if you are a 28 to 29 in pants for women between, I would say a four to six, because I did wash them and they shrank, four to six, they the medium would fit you like this. Yeah, so that's the update on date night. It's very romantic. We're gonna eat burritos, probably in front of the television, and uh, I wanted to update you guys on my dressing, because that is how exciting my life is. I, uh, I did a bunch of laundry today. You know when you do something, but you do it from start to finish, and you actually complete it, and you feel very, very victorious? That's currently my state, but I'm also exhausted. <laughs> Who knew house chores were so exhausting? Oh wait, everybody. <laughs> um, when Parker comes home, we're gonna eat. And then um, I told him he has to show you guys how to do the cinnamon coffee. But other than that, that's gonna be it for this vlog. I know it's probably gonna be way too long because of that stupid haul I decided to interject, but it was important. You know, it's important for you guys to see the new condiments I've brought into my home. It was important for you guys to see my tie-dye fails and successes and it was important for me to talk about underwear because we talk about that a lot in these weekend vlogs so it's about 6 30 i will check in with you guys later and i will say good night and i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i mean i've enjoyed filming it for you guys <laughs>
I had pepper in my teeth for like two hours and Parker didn't tell me. I don't know if that's love or if, the, if it's the opposite of love. <laughs> I think it's true love. He doesn't care. Um, so here's the scoop. Excuse me. We ate our burritos. We watched more of The Walking Dead. They're about to lose me. If I don't find out if they find Sophia, I'm about to quit on that show. Because that little girl is driving me crazy. And then the last thing is, if you want to do the uh, cinnamon in your coffee, I just showed you guys how Parker does it. It's basically the same way my mom does it. It's for a full pot or a full carafe or a full brew, it's one stick. Don't pulverize the cinnamon stick. Don't use powdered or ground cinnamon. All you do is crack it, that's it. And you wanna make sure that you brew it on normal brewing, not on uh, strong or on slow because the water comes out so slow, it soaks the cinnamon a little bit longer than it needs to and it will get spicy. I guess if you were to do the strong brew, you could do like half a cinnamon stick and it would be the same effect. So basically what you're doing is you're just making your coffee a little bit nuttier, a little bit heartier, it's a little bit more rich, it's not spicy and it doesn't taste... You know, it kind of reminds me of Café de Olla, like that, I think it's Mexican coffee, um, like that you make on the stove top. It's really, really good. Um, anyway, but that's it. That's all I got for you. I can't stop yawning at this point. Like, my train has left the station. It's 9 o'clock, you guys. It's like way past my bedtime. I gotta call it night, but I wanted to show you guys my pants again. I'm telling you, you need to get these pantsicles. <laughs> They're really comfortable. I don't know if I would ever have the guts to wear them out in public when I was opening when I was opening the package. Parker's like, um, are those wear around the house pants? Or <laughs> like when he said, Are you gonna go out like that? Same thing. Yeah, they're wear around the house pants, but aren't they pretty? Look, tie-dye's hard to make cute, and I feel like this is this is cute. Parker, is it cute? Parker? It's very, very 80s retro. It's uh, rad. Well, see, he was alive and in existence and with memory of the actual 80s, so he can say that. He was he was alive in... The 80s were awesome. I was, I was born in the 80s. Half the 80s. So I was, a, I was a baby. I don't really remember. Yeah, 80s music. That was my thing. Yeah, I grew up. That was, Let's that not was talk my, about your taste in music. That was my era. I'm the worst. I'm mean when I'm tired. Well, I'm just... Never mind. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. <laughs> Are you wearing your wedding ring? Uh, Ugh, the no. worst. No. He's supposed to be practicing, you know? Like, it's like he's training for a marathon. He's, like, practicing wearing his wedding ring. I practiced all day yesterday. Do you guys want to hear something very sus? Now that we're here amongst friends and family? Parker has to go to work tomorrow on a Sunday when he's not on call because he has things to do. Yeah, I gotta pay for that wedding ring. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I know I've said goodbye like 14 times. Anything and everything that you saw in this vlog, if I can possibly find it and link it for you, I will. It'll be listed in the description box of this video. Um, Except for it. me, I won't be linked. Oh my gosh, because you're devastatingly handsome. <laughs> Someone said, someone said, Parker needs to be locked up and never see daylight again. He's a keeper. And I was like, should I call the police and have them check your house? <laughs> or if Parker ever goes missing, I know where to look. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so much. And you know what to do. If you found this video useful, why didn't you get this lighting in the first place? It got like really nice all of a sudden. You're welcome. Looked like I had a tan. I didn't look orange. All right, guys. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys. Say bye, Parker. Bye, guys. <laughs> He's tired, too. <laughs>